What's up everybody, Jesse here, and today I have some awesome news for you guys. It's been forever since we've had anything on Zelda Wii U, and apparently some rumors have leaked, and we're going to be getting official news very, very soon. Now, this leak comes from the same person who was behind the Paper Mario Wii U rumors that was later announced by Nintendo and confirmed to be true. And these rumors kind of go with, she has her own sources that she uses to confirm stuff, and I guess during a conversation or something, she was told about Zelda Wii U, and she explained all of it on Twitter. First she says, heard some rumors about Zelda today from very reliable sources, I must investigate further. And then she has some back and forth with some of her followers, and then she says, Rumor number one, yes, Zelda is coming to both Wii U and Nintendo NX. I confirmed it with a ton of people, you can choose which one to get, or get both. Rumor number two, I heard from multiple sources that you can choose between a male or female as your playable character in Zelda. Rumor number three, there is voice acting for most of the characters except Link. Now, this is a lot to unpack, because, again, a lot of people are like, well, they're just rumors, she might have made them up, someone may have lied to her. But she has a very, very successful track record. I know she was the one who leaked the Paper Mario rumors, and she may have been behind some other leaks as well. And she's not really known for leaking incorrect information that I'm aware of. So let's talk about that first rumor. Yes, Zelda's coming to both Wii U and Nintendo NX. I confirmed it with a ton of people, you can choose which one to get, or get both. This was kind of a given, because a lot of people already assumed that it's coming late in the life cycle, like Twilight Princess did, Nintendo's made references between Zelda Wii U and Twilight Princess, so it makes sense that they would also put it on the NX, especially if they don't want the NX to be a failure like the Wii U was. It would be good to launch it with the Zelda game that everyone bought their Wii U for. So now... <clears throat> If they add some extra features or something that's exclusive for the NX version, they can pretty much guarantee a lot of sales for the NX just from people wanting to play the Zelda game. Plus, it may be that the Wii U version plays at like 720p and 30 frames a second, and with the NX being more powerful hardware, you'll have the option to play it at 1080p and 60 frames a second, which would be awesome if you're into better graphics and everything, which that's the whole point of playing a game in HD, is having it look as best as it can. So, I mean, that's why we're not playing on Nintendo 64 anymore. Rumor number two. I heard from multiple sources that you can choose between a male or female as your playable character in Zelda. Now, this was kind of joked around with whenever they first showed off footage for Zelda Wii U. Uh, Aenuma or Miyamoto, one of the two, said that he never stated that it wasn't Link in the video. Because a lot of people were like, oh, Link looks like a girl... And whenever they said this to him during an interview, he said, well, I never actually said that was Link. And then a few months later, it was brought up again that, are we playing as Link? Are we not playing as Link? And he said that he just likes to joke around, he likes to have fun, but he never stated that it wasn't Link. He just said that he never said it was Link. So, it kind of hinting around at the possibility of a female version of Link, or Linkle, or whatever you want to call her, an option to choose the gender for your main character. And it kind of makes sense because I've gone over this in a few videos before, but Nintendo said that they want to appeal to more of their audience, and most of their audience right now in Japan is female gamers. And the perfect way to appeal to female gamers is for an option to play as a female Link. And they're taking Zelda Wii U in a new direction. They want to change what you think about a traditional Zelda game. And this would definitely be changing that. Which leads into the third rumor. There's voice acting for most of the characters except Link. Now, voice acting is something that I also made a video about recently. But it's something that a lot of fans are on opposite sides of. There's a lot of people that says it'll ruin the series. They don't want it. And then there's a lot of people saying that they would love it. It would be new very welcome, that you would love it for the series, it would bring that next step of evolving the franchise. And I think this is the perfect way to do that. The whole point is Link's supposed to be a silent hero. He doesn't have text in the game, so why would you give him a voice if he's not saying anything anyways? <clears throat> and this is the perfect way around that, if you give everybody else a voice, which Link already has a voice, he grunts when he rolls, swings his sword, jumps, gets hurt, he has those sounds. Midna 
had a voice in Twilight Princess. It was like a garbled language. Fi or Fi had a garbled language. It would be nice if they brought a brand new language, maybe if they spoke Hylian with the subtitles to where they're actually saying words, but it's not a language that we understand, but we still get the subtitles. That would be one way to do it. If they had traditional voice acting to where they actually spoke English or Japanese, Spanish, whatever it is that you would pick for your language, then that would be great for the people that have been wanting voice acting and it leaves Link still silent. So it's like the best of both worlds. People that don't want Link ruined, he's not ruined. People that want voice acting, they get voice acting. And then if you really, really, really don't want voice acting, I'm sure it'll have the option to just mute the characters and just have traditional subtitles. Let me know what you all think about these rumors, and I'm excited. This is the first bit of news that's came out, and apparently this is all information that is coming from a Nintendo Direct, or Nintendo is supposed to announce something about Zelda Wii U very, very soon, and this is a small part of the information that's supposed to come out. And remember, she was right about everything with Paper Mario being announced. That came out of nowhere. Nobody even expected a Paper Mario. She leaked it, and then less than a month or so later, we get an official announcement from Nintendo. Now, she says that these rumors come from a source at Nintendo, several sources in fact, and that Nintendo will be announcing stuff for Zelda Wii U very, 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 very soon. So, I mean, I guess now we just play the waiting game and see if it happens, and also, very soon could mean E3, because E3 is only two months away, so, I mean, even if we don't get a direct or some kind of announcement this month, then we still have two months until E3, so, like, we're going to be getting news about Zelda Wii U very soon. We're going to be getting a trailer, we're going to be getting more gameplay footage, an actual title, possibly a release date, and amiibo functionality. We're going to be getting maybe what comes with the collector's edition and stuff, all at E3. So be excited. And not only Zelda, but we also get more information about Nintendo's mobile games and their brand new console, the NX. So it's a very, very exciting time to be a Nintendo fan, to be a Zelda fan. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about all these rumors in the comments below.